Right guys, today we're going to take a look at how to stop the knocking and the banging inside while the electronics, the battery pack shifting around when you go over short bumps and it shake, shake, shake. It can eventually wear like your controller down and cause damage inside of it. So what we're going to do is just crack all our bolts on our deck and get them out. Now I'll get these taken out and I'll come back once they're all out. Okay, so all the screws are removed now, so I'm going to lift the plate. Sometimes you might even find that there's sealant around it, sealing it down. This has some foam down here, so when it's compressed down it makes a seal. But as you can see, we've got some foam in here stopping it from hitting against the bolts and stuff over there. We've got some up here at the back. We've got some here sitting on top. Now what we can do is we can grab some foam that's kind of similar to this which is high density foam an easy place to get this right now would be in aldi or ebay where you can get yoga blocks high density foam good stuff you can chop it up with a tickle stick and you can cut any thicknesses you need you can measure how deep it is and mark off some measurement lines to help or you can just wing it absolutely wing it and if you're flamboyant you could get these ones they're pretty cool so you get two in a pack they're 99 pence per pack very very cheap you can cut them in multiple shapes angles cut them in blocks tetra style blocks to fit down the sides and along the top we just want to fill it in so i'm going to carve up some of this and see where we get right so we've carved up an absolute ton loads and loads all right so what we're going to do is we're going to stick them down i don't know maybe stick them sideways try and not press the wires up but yeah we'll put them in um, yeah we've got other bits here I don't really want to mess around near the electronics as long as the majority of it's stable. I don't want to go pinching wires or having them rubbing, so I'll leave some space for the wires. And that's it, really. You want to just make sure it's like good high density closed cell foam. I mean, you can get this place, this stuff everywhere. Sometimes it'll come in your packaging. I've got little bits of it in the shed, but I need more of it. So this yoga block absolutely brilliant and the name of it was crane crane fitness yoga block 99 pence at your local aldi store so very cheap very handy and it's kind of safe <laughs> i've been advised by the place where i got the scooter this is even what they use this might even be what they put in it might not have had that when the scooter got to this country and they've maybe put this in, so high density foam is what you want to use, not just packaging material. And then you just slot it back on. And no more knocking from your electronics, and you should prolong the life of it. Now let me get the bolts back in. So there we go, easy peasy. This is what we need to do if you want to prolong the life of your controller, your battery especially. That's a big expensive battery in there. Too much knock, knock, knocking around could cause the pack to split. And if it does, you're going to be about £700 or more for a replacement battery if you don't know anything about fixing batteries. Which I've just even went and bought a, a mini spot welder just in case we have a battery issue. But yeah, this is how you take care of your scooter. Stop the thudunk dunk going around and wrecking your stuff. So yeah. Cheap and cheerful, very easy, get it done to your scooter as soon as you can. Do not put up with a knocky knocky. Bye for now guys.